Thank you, Mr. Chair. Issue 20, pages 32 and 33, represents a uh, conference a committee compromise. Uh, several of these augmentations were discussed previously in conference committee, and I'll just highlight a few. It would include $5 million general fund one time for sexually transmitted disease prevention, as well as uh, 1 million general fund and 1.3 million Proposition 99 to begin implementation of special session tobacco bills. We talked about this in conference committee it was a timing issue where the bills were passed as we had already released our May revise so this will allow the implementation of that legislation um, and lastly a conference compromise of one million dollars general fund one time of which 600,000 would go to the Department of Public Health 250,000 to the Office of Environmental Health Hazard Assessment and 150,000 to the Department of Toxic Substance Control for the biomonitoring program uh, thank you Ms. Costa Coming back to the committee on issue 12, the public health conference package, any questions or comments? Senator Nielsen? Senator Nielsen would like to make a motion to approve everything except, oh, sorry. Motion to approve three. I'm sorry, I apologize. Motion to approve three. Do I have a second? Okay, we have a second. Five zero? Five zero. Okay. Do I have a motion to approve the remainder of issue 20? Second. Okay, we're going to pull out item five as well. Okay, so motion to approve the remainder of issue 20, excluding items three and five. Second. 4-1 on the, oh, sorry, 5-0 oh on the assembly side. 3-0 on the Senate side to approve everything but items 3 and 5. Can I get a motion to approve item 5? So moved. Okay, I got a motion and a second. I see 3-2, three 3-2. Two, three two. Three two Senate, 3-2 Assembly. Okay. Issue 21, Community Health Mental, I'm sorry, Community Mental Health Conference Package. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Issue number 20, uh, page number 34 of the agenda. This represents a compromise package on community mental health. I'd note that the conference compromise includes 10 million general fund one time, 6 million reappropriated general fund, and 11 million from MHSA state administration one time uh, for children's mental health crisis services. I'd also note that this package provides $4 million MHSA state administration one time for suicide hotlines. Thank you, Ms. Costa. So, Member Bloom. I just want to say, uh, since I spoke on this at, at our last uh, hearing, that I'm grateful for inclusion of the $4 million for the suicide hotlines. Uh, thank you, Mr. Bloom. Senator Leno? Oh. So we're on issue 21. Do I have a move it? We have a motion to approve issue 21. Do I have a second? Second. Second, okay. So issue 21, to motion, there's a motion to a second. 5-0 from the Assembly, 5-0 from the Senate. Issue 22, State Hospitals Conference Package. Ms. Costa. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Issue 22, which is on page 35, is the conference compromise on the state hospitals. Um, I would note that it does include um, uh, 1.7 million reappropriation for the Metropolitan State Hospital expansion, as well as uh, funding for a Coleman monitoring team. Thank you, Ms. Costa. Any questions on issue 22 or comments on issue 22? Okay, can I get a motion to approve issue 22? So moved. Second. Okay. 5 0 from the Assembly, 5 0 from the Senate. Thank you. Issue 23, health care conference package. Ms. Costa. Thank you very much. Again, a compromise package here from the uh, health care, uh, issue 23 pages 36 and 37. I'll point out just a few of the items. Uh, it includes, this package includes the acupuncture optional Medi-Cal benefit. 
uh, with 3.7 million general funds uh, and 4.4 million annually for this program. It, the conference compromise also includes 33 million general fund uh, per year over three years, uh, appropriated over six years to support medical residency programs. I would note that this particular proposal is contingent upon federal approval of an extension of the quality hospital quality assurance fee. Um, and lastly, I'd note that this package includes a conference compromise of $3 million general fund one time to establish a multi-county pilot project, including an evaluation and contingent upon legislation that will enact um, for medical interpreters. Thank you, Ms. Costa. Senator Nielsen. Not a problem. Issue 23, Senator Nielsen, would you like to make a motion? Okay. Motion to approve item number one. Second. Assembly member also had a question. It's on item number two, so I can so wait I if you prefer. Actually, nope. Senator Lara. So, yes. Sorry, apologize before we take a vote on this. I just want to say, you know, I do uh, support the acupuncture, but I think. You know, we also need to look eventually at the podiatry as an optional medical benefit. I mean, given the fact so many people are suffering from diabetes and, and we need to really get to uh, really servicing these group of folks. So I think, I hope that one day we, we get serious about this and, and, and re-include uh, podiatry into this uh, optional medical benefit. Thank you. Senator Chairman, Leonard? I didn't want to confuse. Oh, sorry, I'm going to move it, but I'm going to be a no vote on the acupuncture because I'd like to see that continue on. That's fine. Thank you. Senator Leno. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, not that I want to highlight or underscore all of my disappointments in the budget, but I do want for those who are listening to understand what our challenge was with regard to the simplified billing for family planning drugs and supplies. That was an ongoing expense, and it amounted to about 25% of all the ongoing money that we had at our hands. So as much as I hope that future legislatures will finally be able to deal with this issue appropriately, the ongoing funds that we had this year just weren't there. So that is a disappointment. But I will be supporting the other items. Uh, thank you, Senator. Member Bloom. Just to add a quick comment on that, um, the, there seemed to be significant disagreement uh, uh, amongst advocates as to um, whether or not the the, uh, the number was accurate. And so, I, um, you know, th this isn't going to move forward uh, uh, in this budget. But I'm hoping as we move forward, we can take a second look at that, and perhaps with some additional time, um, learn a little bit more about what the accurate underlying cost is. Thank you. Assembly Member Olson. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, on item two, the primary care workforce, I'm really pleased to see that in this issue. It's so important that we increase medical residency slots across the state, particularly in the San Joaquin Valley, where we have such a high shortage of physicians. But I just had a quick question about it. The $33 million, is that coming out of the state's part of the hospital fee or the hospital's part of the fee? Adam Dorsey, Department of Finance. So. Um, there isn't any money coming out of a, a pot specifically. It's it's a general fund augmentation, and it's just contingent upon the fee um, being approved by the federal government. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. Were there any other questions, comments? Okay, so I believe item one. We are going to take a vote. Issue 23, item one, acupuncture, optional medical benefit. Three, two, three, four. 5-0. 5-0 and 3-2. Okay. 5-0 for the Senate, 3-2 for the Assembly. Um, issue 23, item 2, primary care workforce. Motion in a second. I have 5-0 in the Assembly. In the Senate, 5-0 in the Senate as well. Number 3, covered California emergency regulations. Motion. Okay. Motion in a second. Thank you. Uh, five zero in the assembly. Three, oh, sorry, three three zero in the Senate. Thank you. Uh, f issue four: medical interpreters. 
and a second? Second. Medical interpreters? In the, in the assembly, we have 3-2, three 3-2 two. Three two in the Senate as well. That's issue 23. Okay. Uh, item number five, Medi-Cal AIDS waiver rates. I have a motion. Second. Second. Thank you. Uh, in the Senate, we have four. Do we have five zero? Senator Bates? Okay, five zero in the Senate, in the Senate, five zero in the Assembly. Thank you. Um, so we have uh, assemb Assembly version on number six, which is no support for supplement drug dispensing fees or for trailer bill related to continuity of care and managed care transitions. Yes, Senator Nielsen. I just wanted Item to make six. an argument on this. Uh, this, and I am certainly no pharmacist, but I know a lot who are, and this is going to have a very adverse effect, particularly on our small pharmacists, and I wish we could, have, could resolve this in a, in a better manner. Uh, losing some $300 million in federal funds, and maybe not the large pharmacy, but our smaller pharmacists are really going to be affected by this. Uh, I wish we could uh, find cause to, uh, to, to reject this. Thank you, Senator. Assemblymember Openerty. Uh, I want to echo the Senator's uh, disappointment. This was an opportunity to fix a, a known problem uh, that was caused by a difference in state and federal law. It's a one, it's a one year only pro uh, problem. And so it would have been a one time expenditure. And I'm, I'm very disappointed that we couldn't come to a compromise that would have addressed that. Uh, thank you, Assemblymember. Any other comments? Could I get a motion? So okay, in a second. The for the assembly version, number six, item six. Second. Second, thank you. Looks like three two, three two, three two assembly, three two Senate. Thank you. Item seven is the Senate version. No support for the aged and disabled program, increased data collection on race, ethnicity, or for simplified billing for family planning drugs and supplies. So moved. Second? Do I have a second? Second. Okay. We have 5 0 in the Assembly, 5 0 in the Senate. Thank you. Uh, last item, item 8, Manage Care Administrative Fines and Penalties Fund. Do I have a motion to approve? So moved. Okay, motion. Second? Second. Second. F 5 0 in the Assembly, 5 0 in the Senate. Okay, thank you. Senator Nielsen. Before we go to the next section, uh, Mr. Chairman, I know the committee decided to not proceed with any out-of-conference items, but I do have to comment. Uh, I had announced on two occasions that I wanted to bring up an out-of-conference item, that be for uh, eyeglasses for Medi-Cal. And uh, the, the issue was that uh, there were other bills that addressed some of these needs in this year. Uh, the bill that I authored for these uh, glasses, for those uh, Medi-Cal in need, uh, was not even allowed a policy committee hearing in the Senate, and I certainly object to that discourtesy that we didn't even get a policy committee hearing, so we were trying a last uh, Hail Mary here. Uh, I thank you for at least allowing us to talk about it. That's, I'd like to say that much. Thank, thank you, Senator. Any other items before we move on to issue 24? Okay, we're going to move on to issue 24, the resources proposals. Ms. Costa. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Issue 24, page 38 and 39 of the agenda. This package includes a variety of items, which include some capital projects and various other items of local assistance. Um, included in your package include a couple of items that we have previously discussed in conference, one of which is the Malakoff Diggin State Historical Park Solar Generator. The conference compromises for $700,000 for this project, one time general fund. Uh, there's also been a conference compromise on number 15, which would be uh, the State Responsibility Area Fund grants to approve $5 million of that for tree mortality and $5 million for grants to locals also one time. Lastly, we did reach a conference compromise regarding a uh, funding source issue on uh, number 23. We're changing the funding source from the Vehicle Inspection and Repair Fund to the Air Pollution Control Account for the Clean Bus bus and truck standards and advanced clean cars program proposals. Thank you, Ms. Costa. 
Senator Nielsen. Mr. Chairman, I hate to slow it down, but there are many items here, and there's going to be a lot of no's and abstains and yeses if we could go item by item. Okay, we, we can go item by item, not a problem. Okay, can I get a motion to approve uh, item one, U.S. Immigration Station, Angel Island? We have a motion second. Three, two in the Assembly, four, one in the Senate. Thank you. Uh, item number two, uh, ORCA trail bill, trailer bill language. I have a motion and a second. Thank you. Four zero in the Senate. Three two in the Assembly. Thank you. Uh, can I get a motion for item three, Marine Mammal Rescue? Okay. I see three two in the Assembly. 3-2 in the Senate. Item 4, whale disentanglement. Disentanglement, excuse me. Okay, I see a 3-2 in the Assembly. 3-2 in the Senate, thank you. Uh, watershed assessments, item 5. Second. Okay, thank you. 5-0 in the Senate. 5-0 in the Assembly, thank you. Uh, item 6, which is Malakov Diggins State Historic Park Solar Generator. Okay. So I see 3-2 in the Assembly. Do I see a 3-2 in the Senate? I item 6. Okay, 3-2 in the Senate. Thank you. Uh, item 7, fee proposed by manufacturers of aftermarket parts trailer bill language. Okay, I have a motion second. I see 3-2, three 3-2. Two, three two. Tahoe Environmental Improvement Program. Assembly version. I have a motion. Second. Second. Okay. Three two in the Senate. Five zero in the Assembly. Item nine. Two positions to expedite the pollinator protection proposal at the Department of Pesticide Regulation. Senate version. So moved. Second. Okay. I see four. Do I see five? Okay. Five zero in the Assembly. Three two in the Senate. Uh, item 10 is two positions for the independent review panel at the Department of Toxic Substances Control Assembly version. So I have a motion and a second on this. Do I have a second? Yeah. Okay. 5 0 in the Assembly, 5 0 in the Senate. Thank you. Uh, item 11 Education and Environment Initiative Literature Printing, Senate version. So second. Do I have a second? Do I have a, do I have a second somewhere? Second. second. Thank you. I have 3 2 in the Assembly. 3-2 in the Senate. Thank you. Uh, item 12 is the Calexico New River Parkway Project. Uh, budget bill language to reappropriate Prop 84 funds and stipulate that they may be used for planning and or, or construction of the project. Do have a motion? Okay. Motion? Second. 5-0. Five, five assembly version. Thank you. 5-0. Uh, 5-0. Item 13 is City of Pasadena West Side Perimeter Trail Project. So moved. Okay, 5-0 in the Assembly, 5-0 in the Senate. Item 14 is oil and gas training, Assembly version. So okay, I have a motion and a second. So I have 5-0 in the Assembly, 3-2, 3-2 in the Senate. Item 15 is state responsibility area fund grants, and this is the conference compromise. Okay, I have a motion and a second. Thank you. 5 0 in the Assembly. 3 0 in the Senate. Item 16 is the Beverage Container City County Payment Proposal Assembly version. So moved. Do I have a second? Second, thank you. Uh, 3 2 in the Assembly. 3 2 in the Senate. Uh, no, item 17 is Conference Compromise to Approve Technical Statutory Changes. Related to stream bed alterations and seed law. So moved. Okay. Three two in the Senate. Three two in the Assembly. Uh, item eighteen is Conservation Corps and, De and Department of Parks and Rec Senate version. Motion second. Thank you. Absolutely. That's fine. Can we can we vote on the Conservation Corps first? 
Yes, absolutely. Conservation Corps. Move it. I have a 5 in the Senate. 5 in the Assembly. Okay. This is item 18 again, Department of Parks and Recreation. So moved. Okay. 3-2 in the Assembly. 3-2 in the Senate. Item 19, uh, Department of Water Resources, Water Fix, Assembly version. Do I have a second? second. Okay, second. Five, four, one. Four, one in the Assembly. Five, zero oh in the Senate. Thank you. Item 19. Item 20, $200,000 to the State Water Resources Control Board for the Monterey County Regional Management Group Pilot Project. I have a motion second. Okay. Let's see. 3-2. Is it 3-2 in the Assembly? 3-2 in the Senate. Thank you. 21 is the conference compromise to approve Prop 1, Salton Sea Design Build Authorization for Department of Water Resources. Okay. There's a motion. Second. 3-1 uh, in the Assembly. 5-0 in the Senate. Thank you. 5-0 in the Senate. Uh, Item 22 is $500,000 to the Department of Parks and Recreation for the Lodi Zoo. I move the Senate version. Second. Moving the Senate version. Okay, first motion and second. I have 4-1 uh, in the Assembly. I have 3-2 uh, in the Senate. 4-1 Assembly, 3-2 Senate. Uh, item 23 is a conference compromise, changing funding source from the Vehicle Inspection Repair Fund to the Air Pollution Control Account for the clean bus and truck standards and advanced clean cars program proposals. Okay, there's a motion? Second. Second, thank you. 3-2 in the Assembly, 3-2 in the Senate. Item 24 is $1 million to the Coastal Conservancy for Salinas River and Salinas River Lagoon cleanup efforts. So moved. Do I have a second? Okay. Second, thank you. I have 3-2 in the Assembly, 3-2, oh, 3-1 in the Senate. 3-1 in the Senate, 3-2 in the Assembly. Okay, very good. We're going to move on to Issue 25, Funding for Pest Prevention. Ms. Costa. Thank you. Issue 25, page number 40 of the agenda. The recommendation is to approve a conference compromise to fund $750,000 general fund for neonic studies. Thank you, Ms. Costin. I have a motion to approve. Ms. Olson. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I, I'm very concerned by this item. As we discussed last week in conference committee and have had hearings over the last couple years around the state, including in my district, uh, Asian citrus psyllid in particular is becoming an epidemic across the state. We have 21 counties already under quarantine. And so with the complete elimination of funding for that and the complete elimination of funding for Pierce's disease in wine grapes and the complete elimination of funding for CDFA in general, what is the plan to make sure that our citrus industry and our wine grape growing, wine grape growing industry and other ag crops remain protected from further disease? My colleague's on his way up. Thank you. Mr. Murphy. Hi, Brennan Murphy, Department of Finance. The, the elimination was, was to an increase, so there is still um, base activities going on in, in the Department of Food and Agriculture budget, as we discussed in, in the last committee hearing. And uh, while I didn't, don't have those with me, I just want to point out that, that at that point, um, we were talking about an increase of $15 million. So that's what was taken out, not, not the base activities that have been ongoing that the department takes on for, for all of those, those diseases. Okay, thank you. I would suggest that the base funding allocated is insufficient to deal with the disease. These uh, industries provide billions of dollars in economic activity across California, and I would hate to see happen to California citrus of what happened in Florida. So I would encourage my Senate colleagues in particular to move the policy bills forward separate from the budget process because this could be devastating to California's economy. Thank you, Assembly Member. Senator Leno. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, I just want to embrace Mr. Murphy's comments. The figure is $27 million in the governor's budget for Asian citrus psyllid, and that's on top of $131 million investment in this budget for the collective challenges of pests in the state. So it's not, if we're, it's not as if we're not doing something, and to say that we're not doing enough when we 
you didn't even know what the figure was uh, is, is not quite fair to what we're trying to do here. And it should be noted that we have tw a twin challenge here. We have the very serious phenomenon of Asian citrusilid, but we also have a declining bee population. And there is resounding science that shows that there is a link between the use of neonics and the decline in our bee population. So this is just a study, so we can know more. $750,000, I don't see anything non-supportable here. Uh, we could argue over the 27, should it be 35 or even higher than that? But this is just a study so we can gather more information because the risk to our bee population is directly related to billions of dollars of our agricultural industry. So I would urge support for the $750,000 here. Thank you, Senator. With respect, Mr. Chair, just to clarify, I was not speaking against the 750000 for the ne neonic ornament. I was simply highlighting the fact, and I'm well aware that we have current funding available for Pierce's disease, for ACP, et cetera. But as the problem grows and increases across the state, and as the problem moves further and further northward, the funding also needs to increase to deal with the uh, extent of the problem. So again, just to clarify, I wasn't speaking against what's remaining, but I strongly encourage the legislature and the administration to take what's happening to our citrus industry more seriously. Thank you, Assembly Member. Thank you, Senator. Um, any other thoughts? Can I get a motion to approve issue 25? Second. Okay. 3 0 on the Assembly side, 3 2. 3-2 on the Senate side. Okay. Uh, I was asked to reopen issue 24, item 21, and just to refresh people's memory, that's the conference compromise to approve Prop 1, Salton Sea Design Build Authorization for Department of Water Resources. I had 5-0 in the Senate, and I have 3-0. Three 3-0 zero. Three zero in the Assembly. Thank you. Issue 26, Human Right to Water. Ms. Costa. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, issue 26, Human Right to Water, on page 40 of the agenda. This is a conference compromise. It would allocate $10 million one time in Proposition 98 funding uh, to the State Water Resources Control Board in consultation with the Department of Education. These are local assistance grants to schools that are having difficulty with safe drinking water. The funding would be used for equipment to provide safe drinking water to those students. Thank you, Ms. Costa. Are there any, Senator Nielsen? I'm wondering how we can justify Prop 98 fun funding for this particular purpose. That does not seem to me to be an appropriate uh, Prop 98 appropriation. Uh, Thomas Todd Finance. Uh, Senator Nielsen, we, I think, would characterize these repairs as infrastructure repairs in schools, and Prop 98 certainly has a long history of supporting infrastructure repairs at schools. Uh, for more than a decade, Prop 98 supported a deferred maintenance program, for example, uh, utilizing Prop 98 resources. That program was rolled into the local control funding formula uh, back in 2013, but there certainly is precedent uh, for using Prop 98 resources for these purposes. Are these supporting actual ongoing PYs, though? This funding is one time in nature. Thank you, Senator. Senator Leno. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I just want to uh, align my support for this with finance and just add uh, another perspective to it that not only is it infrastructural, it is one time, but that we have a really serious phenomenon, as amazing as it may sound, of dehydration among our student population. And every medical study confirms that when students are dehydrated, they cannot study, they're likely are suffering from headaches, they can't focus, and so this is directly related to their school performance. So I, I, w I wanted to uh, express my appreciation to the administration for uh, agreeing with us if this is Prop 98 supportable and will only benefit our students. Thank if you, I may again finance, our, our analysis it says approved four positions at the board for data collection and management to track, so there will be water board. 
PY. Yes. Yeah, so this action kind of has two buckets. We're the taking first Prop 98 money to the water board. Then. Okay. The fir- the first action is related to the one time ten million dollars, uh, which would be funded out of Prop 98. The second uh, component of that is a uh, augmentation of four positions from a special fund in the water board to deal with um, federal. Uh, reporting compliance, uh, which was a ad by the assembly um, uh, and was in a conference action. Uh, this is just kind of each of those issues are just lumped into kind of one uh, larger issue related to human right to water. Thank let's, you for the clarification. Let, let's split that out then, if we could, Mr. Chairman. I can vote for the 98, and then I don't want to have to vote for the, the other water board. Absolutely. Thank you, Senator. Assemblymember Bloom. Um, I, I want to, uh, like uh, uh, Senator Leno, uh, add my thanks to uh, the administration for finding a way to fund this. This was one of the top priorities in uh, Budget Sub 3 on the Assembly side this year. Uh, we think it's going to affect uh, the ability to uh, find clean drinking water at schools for about 400,000 students. Um, that's a lot of students, and so this $10 million um, is going to go a long way. Uh, uh, frankly, uh, I didn't care where the money came from. I just wanted to find a way to, to fund it, and I'm glad that uh, Department of Finance and the administration were able to find that pathway for us. Thank you. Assemblymember Olson. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I, too, wanted to express my appreciation to the administration for finding a way to provide clean water to schools. The fact is, I believe perhaps Senator Leno said last week, the, or maybe Senator Lara, the fact that we still don't have clean water in some of our schools is criminal. So I appreciate that. However, I did want to state I will be laying off these items today. I just want to see the language um, and see what the specifics are related to both the State Water Resources Control Board positions and how the uh, allocation is put together within the language. Language. I anticipate being supportive, but wanted to explain why I'll be laying off today. Thank you, Assemblymember. So can I give a motion to approve the conference compromise to allocate $10 million for the State Water, Resor- State Water Resources Control Board? So moved. Second. Second. We have 5 0 in the Senate, 3 0 in the Assembly. 5 0 no. in the Senate, 3 no, 0 in no, the I'm Assembly. No that. Oh, sorry, you're a no. 3 we're going to, I wanted to split out the yes, we are the water it. board so I could be recorded no on the water board. Okay, got it. Oh, no, no. The, the first item is the $10 million for the Prop for the Prop 98. Prop 98. Yes. So you're 5 0 on that. Yeah. Okay, that's what we're doing. The, 10, the first item is the $10 million for the schools and the bottle, water bottle filling stations. There we go. But it still goes to the State Water Resources Control Board in consultation with the Department of Ed. Yes. Okay. The, the second is the four positions at the State Water Resources Control Board. Three zero no. in the Assembly, no. three two in the Senate. Three two in the Senate, three zero in the Assembly. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Move on to issue 27 professional standards, Department of Forestry and Fire Protection. Ms. Costa. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Issue 27, professional standards on page 41 of the agenda. The administration did have a proposal that we've presented and we spoke about previously that would allow CAL FIRE to proactively educate and train employees on professional standards. This does represent a conference compromise. This compromise actually creates a new emphasis on training and professional development with a slower ramp up of staff to accommodate that. And uh, with that, we're happy to answer any questions. Thank you, Ms. Costa. Senator Leno. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I just wanted to express my appreciation to Assemblyman Bloom for his accomplished mediation on this. This was debated in both of our subcommittees, and there was some contention. You seem to have ironed it out, so I just want to say good work. Assemblymember Bloom. Thank you, Senator. Um, There were, in fact, some disagreements amongst uh, uh, the stakeholders on this item. Uh, um, uh, The real thanks goes to them for sitting down and being willing to have a frank conversation and and work out the differences. Thank you. Senator Bates. I just want to to pile on with that appreciation because there were several several in my office quite a bit of time. Uh, So you uh, took, uh, you did the heavy lifting. So congratulations and thank you for working that out for us with firefighters. Thank you, Senator. So I have a motion to approve. Second. Second. Motion second. 5-0 in the Senate. 
Five zero in the Senate, five zero in the Assembly. Thank you. Issue twenty eight, uh, bottle bill temporary fix. The the recommendation is issued to be settled after close of conference. Ms. Costa. Yes, thank you, Mr. Chair. We had a lengthy discussion about this. Both houses had proposals, um, and we spent a, a good deal of time discussing this in the conference committee last week. Uh, the recommendation is for us to discuss this outside of conference committee and to uh, work with stakeholders to develop a comprehensive solution to this issue. Thank you, Ms. Costa. Back to the committee, Assemblymember yes. Olson. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'm very disappointed by this item. By not acting now, at least 100 more of these centers are going to close. So I would hope that this stakeholder process will begin as quickly as tomorrow because time is of the essence. They've already closed in my district and in other parts of the state, and 100 more are going to close because we're not acting today. Thank you, Assembly Member. Senator Leno. Uh, I share the Assemblywoman's concern. And I had hoped, as we discussed last week, that we could at least move forward a pilot program to address our lack of direction in landing on this, but uh, let the conversation and the raise consciousness on this be the initiative for us to get something done this summer. I just wanted to stay on behalf of I the Assembly Democrats, I know that Assemblymember uh, Gordon, Assemblymember Bloom have been really working on this for uh, quite a number of years. I know this issue in particular is uh, quite challenging. I, I really appreciate the administration continuing to work with both parties and, and really urge all the stakeholders, and I know some of the stakeholders have been at the table. I really urge all the stakeholders to finally come to the table to really be able to work out a, a long-term solution to solve this problem. So with that, I will ask for a approval of the recommendation. Second. Thank you. 3-2 on the assembly side. 3-2 on the Senate side. Oh, sorry. Sorry. We have to keep this open. I see, sorry, 2-2 two, two on the Senate side, 3-2 on the assembly side. The item will remain open. Thank you, Senator. Issue 29, Residential Center Expansion, California Conservation Corps. Ms. Costa. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. We, we spoke about this issue as well last week in conference committee, and this uh, particular item deals with the expansion of the California Conservation Corps' um, Napa and Pomona uh, re new residential centers. Thank you. Any questions regarding the California Conservation Corps proposal? Perfect. Uh, I have a motion and a second. 5-0 in the Assembly. I got 4-0 in the Senate. Thank you. Um, issue 30, the L.A. River restoration. The conference compromise was no trailer bill language and no funding to either conservancy from the Prop 1 L.A. River pot. Ms. Costa. That's correct, Mr. Chair, and I would just note that that's one, uh, one pot of funding that's available for this purpose. Thank you. Any questions or comments on issue 30? Do I have a motion to approve issue 30? Second. Motion, second. 350 in the assembly. Five zero in the Senate. Just want to make sure. Um, yes. We uh, we'd like to ask Senator Lara if you wanted to add on to issue twenty eight, which is the bottle bill. We had two two in the Senate, three two in the Senate, and also issue twenty nine. We had, um, I believe, four zero in the Senate, five zero. Thank you. We'd like to, uh, if it's okay with everybody, just, just take a five-minute recess before we get to issue 31, cap and trade. Thank you.